Welcome back coders, my name is Madhulika and in this video we are going to see how we can solve that uh, PEM file permission issue which we get when we download a new PEM file. So I am already in my launch and instance VJAR. So I will quickly launch an instance. I have given it a name as my instance 3 and I will just select a free tire eligible Amazon Linux image and the instance type will be T2 micro. And here I will just uh, create a new key. I will give a new key pair name. Uh, I will just give it a name as my key. Now you can give any name, not a problem. And here let it be RSA and here the file time should file type should be dot PEM only. And I will create key pair and it will be downloaded in my system. After that, uh, the rest of the settings I will keep as uh, previous only. I will select uh, demo VPC, I will select the subnet and I will quickly auto assign IP address must be enabled. I am not uh, going here in detail because uh, I have already created a video on how to launch an EC2 instance in detail. So here we will quickly discuss about solving the issue. So I will just quickly launch an instance. It will take some time to launch the instance and I will go in instances and I will just refresh the page. And it will take some time to load my instance. Uh, meanwhile, what we will do, we will just copy this file in the D drive. Uh, from where I can, you know, select it. So right now it is not allowing me. So I will open it. Not bad. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to read it. I just want to copy this file in D drive. So. So I will take this my key from here and I will put it in the D drive key folder. What happened? It is not copied. I will just copy it once again. Okay, so my file is copied here now and then if you can see our instance is up and running. So I will try to connect to this instance. Until and unless we will not connect, we will not be able to see what is the problem which we are getting with this file. So I will just copy this SSH, SSH command. And I will connect it. I can use any medium to connect. Either I can use through Windows CMD or I can use the pass. So here I will go ahead with CMD. And uh, here, what is the first step which you need to do to connect to your EC2 instance? You will have to go to the path where you have kept your key. So it is in D drive key folder. So I will reach till here. After that, I will just paste the SSH command and when I will enter see what it is saying the authenticity of host this is this, this can't be established because key fingerprint is this are you sure you want to continue just say yes and what it is saying what it is saying it is saying that uh, this is you know my key dot pem r2 open so what happens when you download it directly from AWS, then it has a permission for all the users. So it is too open and that, that does not go well with, uh, you know, EC2 instances. So it says that it is bad permission and then you will not be able to connect to your instance. So how to solve this issue? So what you will have to do first, you will have to go to the folder where your file is and right click go in the properties section 
security and in security go for advanced okay now what here you are supposed to do first thing you are supposed to disable inheritance okay and remove all inherited permissions from this object so now if you see all inherited permissions are removed now what you are supposed to do you are supposed to add permission only for this particular user right now with which user you are working with okay so here if you can see it will you know give you an option just to select the user and here uh, my laptop user name is this one so i will just take this and i will say check name so if you can see automatic it is giving me my laptop name and my name that's it i will just do okay and if you can see now it is allowing the permission for my user on this particular laptop and you are supposed to remember that you are supposed to give only read and execute and read permission do not give write permission because we don't want to write anything in this file we just want to read it and execute it that's it so no need to check anything here let it be as it is and just do okay now if you can see our user is added here just uh, say apply and do okay here also okay now just try to connect once again with this file just give the ssh command once again it will take some time to connect okay and if you see now it is connected into your uh, linux i mean ec2 instance which earlier was not allowed but right now it is connected and here you can do whatever you want okay so that's it in this video uh, we will discuss uh, how to connect uh